Okay, so the background here is that I have this wireless AC Intel 7260 Wi-Fi adapter that is from a laptop and I need to put it into a desktop computer. To do that, I've got this little PCI Express slot adapter card. I think it was $12 on Amazon and it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a pain to get the card into it. What you have to do is take off the faceplate of the card, which is held in place by two screws. Wow, those really didn't want to come out. You have to do that so you can then take this thing off, which gives you access to where you can put the Wi-Fi adapter in at an angle, about 30 degrees, push it in, and then lay it down. And I need a screw. Hopefully it came with one. If not, I probably have one. Hmm. There's some in here. No, apparently it doesn't come with a screw. You know what? It doesn't even come with anything to secure that down. Is, this, is that part of what this is for? See, ordinarily, whenever you have a, um, a Wi-Fi adapter like this that goes into a laptop, whenever you put that in, there would be like a post here. And it does not appear that it came with the post. Let me see and check the bag a little bit more thoroughly. No. Okay, so no post. So I guess the trick here is to connect up the antenna cables. There's three antenna cables on this uh, this adapter card, but only two. Uh, kind of receptacles, I guess you'd call them. I don't know exactly what to call them. Only two of those on the Wi-Fi card. So you put it generally over the post, if we're calling it that, kind of right in the center, and then push down, and that snaps into place. So there's only two places to put the antenna cables on this adapter. Um, the PCI Express adapter came with three, but that's fine. It can just be extra. So the trick here, I guess, is to kind of use this plate to hold it down. Let's see if we can get that to work. So the plate kind of snaps in. Okay, that's not ideal as far as I'm concerned, but it appears to have worked. And then I suppose they're supposed to just do that. And then you screw it together. If this works, that'll be great. I do not like the design of this at all. It's kind of sketchy. But what do you expect for $12? lined up quite right. Let's try that again. There it goes. Okay, so then this will go into one of the slots on the motherboard. In this computer it's going to be going into a PCI Express 16x slot. It's a very long slot. It's only a 1x connector, but that's okay. Um, as long as it fits, it works. It's the way PCI Express is, so you just basically push it down, and then the antennas will screw on the outside here. Okay.
got the card uh, in place with the adapter attached. So I'm in my living room. Um, the system that I was putting together there with that adapter is in place and up and running. It's a home theater PC. Uh, there it is, and uh, right up here is the adapter. It is working. Uh, if you want to check out that series of videos, it's three videos that show me putting together a 4K resolution capable uh, home theater PC. But the uh, the adapter, let's see, I'll right click on start and go to device manager. That Wi-Fi adapter is here under network adapters and it's an Intel dual band wireless AC7260. So that uh, little adapter card did the trick um, and the speeds are actually pretty good. I'm going to uh, to do a search on Google for speed test and Google has one built in let's hit run speed test there's lots of other speed tests out there on the net you can go to to check out oh my god that's shit So I don't know what's going on with uh, Google speed test, but this is uh, speedtest.net. And we're getting a four millisecond ping and uh, 241 download, megabits download. The upload should be something similar. 208 megabits upload. That's very fast. That's pretty much the speeds I was getting when I had that um, half mini Wi-Fi adapter in the laptop that used to be my uh, home theater computer behind the TV. So I don't know that I would recommend buying a PCI half mini adapter and using one of those PCI Express um, adapter cards to, you know, pair them together to put into a desktop computer. Price-wise, I think it would come out to be about the same as just buying a PCI Express wireless AC card one that's made to go into a desktop computer. But for my situation, since I had a PCI half mini adapter from the laptop that I needed to put into a desktop for, I think it was actually $10 for the, uh, the adapter card, not 12, um, is well worth the cost and the effort. In the end, it worked and I'm getting really good speeds. Thanks for watching.